In this exercise, we will create a basic timeline composite. The result will look like this. We'll start by adding the name of the gladiator with a text effect. Continue with your timeline from the previous exercise. Navigate to the shot number 8, tilt up left, on the timeline. Click on the shot to select it. Activate the text effect button. If you don't see the text effect, drag the Edit Desk menu slider up. Click the yellow button to disable Auto Key. Press on the E button to access the text menu. Keep No Preview in the Display option for faster interactivity. By default, the text mode is set to Edit. Click on the image to add a new text layer. Zoom out to see the entire picture by dragging the zoom field. Type the name of the talent, Paul Alders. Click and drag the text to select it, or press Alt-A. Click on the font box to access the font browser. The default font type is Type 1. You can select the Luxie Sans font. If you wish to select another font, change the font type to Auto, navigate to the font folder and select your font. Then press Load. Adjust the text. Change the size font to 80. Click on the numerical field and use the calculator for precise values. Click and drag the text layer axis and position it on the right lower corner. Use the calculator to set the position X value to 340 and the position Y to minus 390. Also, set the kerning value at 2. Now let's add some shadow to the text. Activate the text shadow. Set the softness of the shadow to 50. And set the transparency to 50%. Adjust the X and Y shadow position closer to the text. When this is done, exit back to the timeline. 